Coach, did you think that this game was over for you already in the first minute with uh, the injury that you had to suffer? Uh, no, we're going to play until the last second, uh, always. Uh, but then, yeah, the injury in the first seconds was uh, a bit... Uh, Disappointing. Hopefully, we'll see. We'll see tomorrow how it how it is. But uh, uh, some good signs initially for Nick. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. So we hope that's not too bad because it's always hard to see, especially so early in the match. But at any time, so hopefully that's not too bad. What does that do for your game plan? Such an early loss of one of your key players. Um, well, look like yeah. Obviously, Nick's very experienced player, and it means that some. Younger guys have to take on more responsibility in organizational things, and uh, um, oh, they did okay in moments. And they, the younger guys, had more physicality uh, as well. So uh, th then they usually bring themselves. So that was good to see. Um, but uh, yeah, it's an experience for them, you know. So uh, we 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 go with the same game plan no matter what. So yeah. Uh, the opponent did a great job. Was this a disappointing loss for you because you played two really great matches? You won in Feyenoord and then you lost very close game to the boss at home. Uh, I'm always disappointed to lose, um, but uh, you know, to to be honest, it's about like trying to improve all the time, trying to learn. If we win, great. Uh, we're trying to win, and uh, we have have to get something out of this. And I think uh, we did and. And that's the main thing, you know, so it's not about being disappointed or something, but yeah, yeah. When you talk about taking something out of this game, what is it that you take home as a positive point from this one? Yeah, I think we had some moments where we could get uh, more physicality and more uh, stops on defense. Uh, so it shows that we can do it, you know, even when we play uh, against a, a very athletic team with a bigger positional size. We had some moments where we could match that. Uh, sometimes we didn't, so it shows we can do it. We have to increase it more uh, all the time. Like So that's what I take from that. It is possible that we can match up against some bigger guys, you know? Uh, yeah. Thanks, coach. Uh, well trip home and wish Nick Tran all the best from us. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Neil Masnich, how did you feel this game in the on, on the court? Uh, I mean, as a team, I think we felt like we need to get back after last uh, last week's game uh, against Feyenoord. I think there we really like were lacking on rebounds and energy also. Actually, I mean, energy was actually pretty good, just like this game. But uh, yeah, especially offensive rebounding, which I think we control better this game. I think it's one of the main parts. Also, us hitting a lot of threes and yeah, having good shooting night in general. And your shot was falling pretty well, especially from three. Did you feel it also like that and was it also give me the ball, I want to shoot more? I mean, yeah, I was feeling pretty confident this game. I mean, I do feel confident every game with my shot, but uh, today it was falling and my teammates were finding me, so yeah. It felt that it was a game with a lot of fouls, that it was not really like a good motion and a flow into that. Did you see that as well and what was causing that? Yeah, I felt the same. I feel like from right from the start with an injury and then the lights turning off and turning on again. Um, I feel like, uh, yeah, it was really like a game which, with a lot of breaks, a lot of fouls. I mean, yeah, it's, it's got to play through that, so it's not, it's not on us. After the loss from Feyenoord last week, how important was this win then? I think really important. I think uh, this is a must-win game for us and um, we came away with the victory. So. so how do you feel looking forward now? Because you've played now them twice. We still have one uh, game to go uh, to the boss from the first round. How do you see the second half of the first stage? Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. I think uh, it's already next Wednesday, so we got to already be ready. Uh, game in a couple of days, so um, get a good rest day and then two days practice and get ready for the next round, I guess, after this one. Yeah. Because the next one is only at the end of December, so we got a lot of, a couple of cup uh, matches. Uh, how do you see them? Yeah, I think uh, it's going to be really good. I think uh, the first cup match is on 2nd December. Uh, we're already preparing for that, so yeah. Because that, that brings back sweet memories from two years in the COVID season where we won it. Yeah, I remember that year. It was a good year. Yeah. You think that's still achievable? Yeah, for sure. Let's go for the repeat. <laughs> Thanks, Neil. Thank Coach, congratulations. Thank How important was this win after the loss from last week? It was very important normally. Uh, we also had a lot of problems during the week with some injuries, with some... Uh, 
healthy problems in the team. On Monday I, have only, I had only six players on the practice, but uh, at the end we find out uh, how to win. I must also be honest, this team uh, played the last few games really good, but today we, they come without two very important players, two starters, Steven Post and, uh, and uh, Troy. And uh, uh, during first minute, I think, or first few minutes, they stay without Nick Tran. And it is really too much for every club. Uh, all credits also to, the, uh, to them. I wish them good luck in further competition. I, uh, and we need to keep practicing, keep practicing, and maybe find one more player. How about the first minute? You get a tag, they lose a player. What does that do for the game? But I really don't know. I react uh, how I always react on uh, that first call, what was terrible. Uh, and uh, I am i don't think too much is that first second or last second of the game. Call was terrible and I react. And their, my job is that, uh, their job is to give me technical. I don't look in that too much strange. Uh, it's okay for me. Uh, we go further, and that is that. Uh, about their injury, that also make big impact on them. But they keep playing good. Uh, I was afraid after that because uh, I think my players was also in stress. They and they couldn't play with freedom because they were also afraid. Also, my players slippery a few times on the floor. Uh, today, this floor was more slippery than usually. I don't know why. And uh, that is something what we need to fix and uh, we need to work on our game and be ready. Now it's tough schedule and a lot of games in the next seven days. It felt that this game was a lot of, fa of uh, fouls in there. And that also means that there was not so much of a flow into the game. Did you see that as well? And what was causing that? But, uh, they play physical. That was in my scouting list uh, that they play physical and that we need to also play physical. And because of that uh, was a lot of fouls. And, uh, uh, that is how is this game. I, I expect a game like this and uh, I think we were ready. You were just saying very briefly and I know that everybody who's watching this was very curious to see what you talked about that by adding potentially one more player. What did you mean there? But, uh, we are on market in this moment co co but uh, it's uh, we're still looking. We're looking for maybe one good fit in this team because uh, Dan left, uh, Cannon signed open contract, but Cannon is already injured and first signals are not good. Uh, and we will see he has first appointment the doctor after his open contract finish. That means he will be a free player. We will see, maybe till that moment we will not sign anybody, maybe he will be okay after that, maybe he will come back, maybe we will sign. But we need one more player on rotation with bigs and that is something uh, something about uh, also my board know and we talking together and looking but it's not too much at this moment what was the biggest uh, reason that you took the, the game today I took the game the, the biggest reason that you could win the game ah uh, uh, but i think today we had biggest bigger rotation uh, we play home, we play aggressive and uh, also today we had uh, extremely good percentage free points and free throws than usually and I think that really helped to, to win the game. How nice is it that also then a lot of academy players can uh, get some minutes at the end of the game and you can also hear on the, on the stands that other academy players, the younger ones, were really appreciating that? Yes, I just told Kula you will never be more in 12 uh, because too much pressure from Tribune on me to put you in the game. No, I make joke. Uh, we are like one family here and uh, this is really nice, but they need to deserve. The, I think for them is already big present to be in this team, to be in big league, um, Binex league, to have these minutes, to... Uh, that is process. You can see with Stein and Armin who before came in this process, uh, how slowly going and up and downs a lot. That will also be for, for from them. And I always talking to them, show me on practice, show me on practice that you that I can believe you more on the game. And one guy really showing this on this period, that is Romano, that uh, and uh, but he need to be patient and I need to be patient and we will see. Other are also there somewhere. 
Yeah, it's great for Romano, especially hitting them two threes uh, in the last couple of minutes. Must feel nice for him. But that is what he best can do. If he cannot do that, he don't need to be on court. <laughs> no, I make it work. <laughs> okay, Romano, that's for you. So you know. Thanks, coach. <laughs>